Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be talking about three amazing fragrances from my favorite houses, Gallagher Fragrances and Pearlescent Perfumes. These fragrances were in my wish list, fragrances I was super excited to try or sample because of only one reason. They have similar notes to my ultimate favorite, Rosé All Day. The first one is Midnight Jasmine, and this is from the house of Pearlescent Perfume. I was super curious with the idea of a rosé all day kind of a fragrance with an added white floral, and I could already imagine Jasmine working well with that kind of scent profile. So Midnight Jasmine is a sweet, fruity, floral, amber, woody fragrance. It has notes like jasmine, apple crisp, plum, rose, brown sugar, tonka bean, sandalwood, amber, cinnamon, and honey. It shares the same DNA, the same scent profile as Rosé All Day, especially from notes like apple crisp, plum, brown sugar, and honey. And those are the notes that I truly, really, really, really love in Rosé All Day. It adds a different feel to the fragrance. And the only difference that this one has is that it has an added jasmine and it doesn't have stainless steel in the fragrance. This for me, first impression when I first received this, this was an immediate love. It has a close resemblance to Rosé All Day, but it is not as dense. And I think it's because it doesn't have the same honey or it has the same honey note but maybe not as dense as the honey in rosé all day and as i mentioned it doesn't have stainless steel it still has the same scent profile as rosé all day but then that jasmine in here the added jasmine is almost like a crystallized iced jasmine sort of a scent so jasmine can be very strong it can be a very prominent white floral scent it can be indolic it can be many other things but the jasmine here is just that very straightforward clean cut crisp jasmine but it's almost crystalline I immediately get the plum and apple crisp duo in the entrance of the scent and that delicious brown sugar and honey that i mentioned that i really loved in rosé all day honey though is not as heavy as i said compared to rosé all day the rose is still present but it isn't really a jammy kind of rose because jasmine is the center note in this fragrance if you're not really a big fan of jasmine you know this can be a tricky fragrance for you but you know all in all like in general this isn't really a blind blind by safe fragrance that like no fragrance is blind by safe but you know if you are not sure about jasmine and you're thinking of getting a full bottle i would have to suggest otherwise because you have to sample this one and especially if you haven't tried the scent profile of rose all day you really have to tread lightly because this one is either you really love it or you don't because of the combination of notes and especially given that Midnight Jasmine has an added white floral that can be tricky to most people. It just this one just has that woody accord in the fragrance from the sandalwood that can be very addictive and it is very very addictive to my nose like as i experience this fragrance the sandalwood is smooth amber is perfect cinnamon combined with brown sugar just makes this one a very cozy intimate sexy kind of scent in the deep dry down i honestly really want a full bottle of this one even if it has similar notes to rosé all day and for example if you love rosé all day and you have a full bottle of it like I do, and you just want to add Midnight Jasmine. I know right now I'm in this moment in my life where I only add fragrances that really are special or ones that I don't have um, duplicates of. But, you know, if I could, I would really definitely add a full bottle of Midnight Jasmine because even though they share similar notes, they are not similar scents at all. Rosé All Day is super sweet. It's rose forward. It's a very jammy, chewy kind of a rose fragrance. While Midnight Jasmine has that Rosé All Day DNA, especially in the middle of the fragrance, but it's an entirely different scent. You get a blast of beautiful jasmine, crystallized jasmine in the entrance. You get that beautiful sandalwood, cinnamon, amber um, base, that beautiful dry down, while having you a memory of that Rosé All Day in the middle. So they share similar notes, but they are not similar sense at all but for me again i am biased because you guys know i really love rosé all day like if my budget permits me i'm gonna definitely get a full bottle of this one even though this one they advertise this one as a christmas scent like as a fall and winter scent i can imagine wearing this one during spring and summer 
given that Iceland spring and summer is still very cool. So I think it's because the, this one doesn't have stainless steel, so it's not as dense, it's not as thick of a fragrance, and it doesn't really have that very strong honey and very strong plum and apple crisp. You still have that, but I think the added sandalwood lightens the fragrance and also jasmine makes this one as a more versatile fragrance, something that I know I can wear during spring and summer. So, well, I honestly would wear rosé all day, all year, but, you know, Midnight Jasmine is like a more versatile fragrance in that sense that it's a lighter scent profile. So the next one is, so that's Midnight Jasmine. The next one is closer to Rosé All Day, and that is Rose Noir. And this one is from Gallagher Fragrances. So they belong to the same scent family, but just like with Midnight Jasmine, Rosé Noir or Rose Noir is not similar to Rosé All Day at all. Rosé Noir is a sweet, fruity, oud and leather scent. So just with those two words, oud and leather, we already have an idea. This is not the same as rosé all day. And I don't really like to compare, I don't want to compare these two fragrances to rosé all day because they are not meant to be like flankers of rosé all day. But I can't help but make the comparison because of the notes that they have or the notes that they share. This one has apple crisp, plum, black leather, Turkish rose absolute, Oud, brown sugar, honey, tonka bean, labdanum, vanilla, sandalwood, patchouli, white musk, and stainless steel. So it has even more notes compared to rosé all day, but they share notes like apple crisp, plum, they have rose, both of them have brown sugar and honey, both of them have tonka bean and vanilla, I think, but it also has stainless steel. But this one though is more on the oud and leather. The entrance of this fragrance is a blast of that oud and black leather. I know people who love diehard fans of Rosé All Day tested this one, sampled this one, and they're not a big fan of it. I think Lulu is not a fan of it as well. I'm not sure. But I do know that Nisha or Spicy Looks isn't a fan of this one. So um, it's all about oud and black leather. It is shocking. It is a very bitter entrance, a bit very bitter scent in the entrance. And I understand, like I said, why most people who love rosé all day wouldn't be a big fan of this one. Because you don't get the sweetness, that sugary, sweet, chammy sweetness that you know you know in rosé all day. You wouldn't expect that here and you don't get that here. Not right away at least. So I decided to wear this scent several times because I already knew that I had expectations with this one based on people's reviews and first impressions. So I decided to wear this several times or spray it like a couple of times, different days. And I gotta say, when you get past that strong oud and black leather in the entrance, all the other notes can really shine through. So the apple crisp, the plum, honey, and brown sugar, and rose that we are so familiar with for those who love and have tried rosé all day, you can detect them and enjoy them in the dry down, in the middle and in the dry down of the scent, especially as it's really, or when it's fully dried down on your skin, or on my skin at least. But these notes are faint and they are soft. So don't expect, like if you expect rosé noir to be like a darker night version of rosé all day, you still get that rosé all day scent in the deep dry down, but it's super, super soft. And oud, leather, patchouli, and tonka really take over the entire scent and they are present in the entire wear of the scent. And when I say entire wear, that's like several, 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 several hours note of stainless steel is on a different level with this one i think like if you notice the stainless steel in rosé all day which i didn't so when i sampled this i immediately got like brown sugar honey the stainless steel i noticed it like the longer i wore it but it wasn't really something that bothered me um just imagine that stainless steel in rosé all day and amp it up maybe five or six times that's in rosé noir and imagine accompanying oud and black leather and patchouli in that. So I don't really have the words to describe the entrance. All I can say is that it's strong, it's oud, it's bitter, it can be quite shocking, and it's that strong steel metallic smell. And then it dries down, it gets softer, but you still get the oud and leather, and then you're slowly introduced to that familiar territory of rosé all day, but then it's soft. It reminds you that, hey, it is a family of rosé all day, but it's an entirely different fragrance. It just gives you like a hint or like a splash of that memory of rosé all day, but you know, it's an entirely different scent. 
this one compared to Midnight Jasmine. This one though is exclusively fall and winter. That's in my own opinion. But I will still sample this or wear this now that spring is coming and when summer comes. I will see how the scent is. I have a feeling I will get more of the apple crisp, more of the honey and plum during warmer weather. But I'm going to have to wait and find out. And with this purchase, I was given a sample of Wicked Good, which I already own. I'm going to show you. I'm going to put that one here. I have Wicked Good right here. And then I was also given a sample of a vaulted fragrance that they re-release, I think, during Christmas time. And that is Vanilla Silk. This one. Oh my gosh. Oh my girl. I saw on Instagram, they released this. They, I think they first released um, Bergamot Silk. And they released this one i'm not so sure but i was really paying attention i was like yeah i want to try rose noir first and midnight jasmine this one though is a fragrance that i really considered buying a full bottle of like immediately as soon as possible this one is a powdery musky vanilla fragrance vanilla silk it says it only has musk and vanilla as the notes in the fragrance but we know that it has more than those two notes um some people say that they get a woody smoky accord to this fragrance i don't really get that i get more of like a resinous woody scent or accord it doesn't overpower the vanilla and the musk that's in this fragrance and this one is so aptly named vanilla silk because the texture the feeling of the scent is exactly like silk it's soft it's smooth it's powdery it's sweet and it's cozy and i immediately wanted to get a full bottle as i said i went to the website and of course, it's not available anymore. Out of the three, Rosé Noir, Midnight Jasmine, and this one, Vanilla Silk, I was seriously contemplating on getting a full bottle of this, even if it costed me like 150 or 175 because I really like it that much. The scent profile actually reminds me of a softer version of Vanilla 28 by Kayali, minus that super sweet like orchid um accord that's in vanilla 28 and then add a resinous woody scent to it and tone it down a little bit the entire scent that that is how vanilla silk smells like on my skin and i'm gonna have to cherish this sample because i will have to wait for the re-release of this fragrance because i know they're gonna vault this fragrance back and they will release it maybe two three years i don't know I am heartbroken, but I am happy they gave me a sample of this one. And they actually gave me a sample of Vanilla Silk, and as I said, Wicked Good, which is great advertising because Gallagher Fragrances, they are planning to release, or he is planning to release, re-release a vaulted fragrance called Carpe Cafe. Anything that, has, that says cafe in it, like I want to try it, even though I have a number of coffee fragrances in my collection and one that I truly love, like it's like my ultimate coffee fragrance. I want to own it. I, like, I want to try it. I read on their Instagram post, someone commented like how Carpe Cafe smells like. Daniel Gallagher mentioned that if you have smelled vanilla silk and like it, and if you have smelled wicked good and like it, then you will definitely like Carpe Cafe. Good advertising because he gave me samples of both. And then a re-release is to be planned, which this actually released right now. You can find them in their website, Car Carpe Cafe. And I think the 50 ml bottle goes for 125 euros. And I am really, really itching. I really want to get it because knowing that I missed this one and I love it, I don't want to miss Carpe Cafe again. I could get a sample. I could do that. But knowing that these samples took five weeks to reach iceland like i don't know if carpe cafe is going to be available up until you know that time if it's because i know it's a limited release so the practical side of me says you know just forget about it but again that impractical dreamy part of me is saying go ahead and try it because i love both of these fragrances so let me know if you guys have tried Carpe Cafe, if you have tried this one, if you own Vanilla Silk, or if you own any of the fragrances that I mentioned today, Midnight Jasmine, if you have tried Rosé Noir, if you love Rosé all day, as I said, let me know. 
This is a fragrance house that I truly, truly love. Both of them, Pearlescent Perfumes and Rosé Noir. I did a review of the first two fragrances released by Pearlescent Perfumes, Baklava and Aqua Rose. Both I actually really love. And again, if once weren't a question, they were they would be fragrances that have already been in my collection a long time ago. But, you know, reality is I don't have a limitless amount to spare or to spend on fragrances. So... I just enjoy the samples that I have. But when it comes to the new Midnight Jasmine release by Pearlescent Perfumes, this is something that I would really want to add to my collection. And Vanilla Silk, something that I missed. And this new Carpe Cafe, something that I really, really want to try or want to add to my collection, even though I know it's going to be a blind purchase. So once again, thank you for sharing a big chunk of your time watching today's video. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, I hope you guys help my channel grow by subscribing. And don't forget to click the notification bell when you do subscribe or when you're subscribed and you don't have the notification bell on. I hope you guys do that because it lets you know every time I put up a new content. I do try to put up two or three videos every week. It depends on my schedule. And yes, if you liked today's video, don't forget to click the like button and let yourself be heard down in the comment section below. Like I always say in every single video, have fun, much love, stay safe, and see you in the next one.